So the, the risk in the banking system still lies in credit risk in middle tier banks. And in particular, their exposure to commercial office is, is a big risk factor, less so their, consume, their exposure to mid-size enterprises. I mean, to be clear, to be a, a mid-size bank today is a really tough place to be. The market for deposits is becoming increasingly competitive. The cost of compliance has soared over the last decade. The amount of technology that the consumer expects you to bring to bear to solve their problems comes with a pretty hefty price tag. It's a really tough place to be today as a, as a community bank or as a, as a mid-tier bank. And now you've got not only those headwinds of costs and expectations around customer service and customer experience, but you've got a credit cycle unfolding. So I think that's where the risk lies today within the banking system, first and foremost, is, is in those mid-tier banks. Now, does the Fed get to where they need to go without causing a deeper recession? Now, you've said before, pretty recently, that you would expect a recession at some point. Uh, and so well, I will be right on that eventually. Eventually. <laughs> I mean, every economist is at some point right on that call. So instead of asking you when, I'm going to ask you what it looks like. So here's, here's our best guess. Our best guess was sometime late this year. Uh, it's November. So we're going to be wrong on that guess. Q2 right now is, is roughly the center point of our distribution as to when we're likely to see the United States in a recessionary environment. And I think, I think there's a couple of really important questions that will come into bear at that moment in time that should influence one's view as to how deep this recession is going to be. Number one is what's going to happen to fiscal policy in the United States. For choice, we think next year fiscal policy will not will not tighten that much. We're, we're heading into a presidential, presidential election. It's really hard for politicians on either side of the aisle to do what we need to do, which is to rein in our deficit spending in front of a presidential election. It's just, it's gonna be really hard politically to get there next year on that front. 